Hey, Dream Ace here. Welcome to the channel. It is Everything Xbox Game Pass. Uh, today we're doing a final review for Space Lines from the Far Out. Uh, it was a very fun little game. I, I quite enjoyed it and it took me off guard as to how much I enjoyed it there and how much it reminded me of another game that I enjoyed. So, uh, very, uh, very fun. Uh, but I will go through uh, how we go about scoring the game and then I will give the score uh, out of 10. Uh, so, uh, category number one, a continuous challenge. I like uh, continuous challenge all the way through. Um, sometimes they make you try and get to that next spot or, uh, you know, defeat that next enemy. So, uh, worth two points for that category. Uh, interesting story and a good end is category number two. Uh, a game has to have an interesting story and a good end or kind of really what's the point. Uh, so, that again, uh, that one will be worth two points. Uh, category number three, uh, flexibility and useful rewards. I'd like to uh, have flexibility of choice, um, but also have useful rewards that will help me uh, get to the uh, end of the game there um, to make things easier on myself. Uh, also, the flexibility has to have impactful choices that will impact my gameplay as well. Uh, I got to throw that in there. Um, number four, uh, fun and realism. Uh, it, uh, the game has to have a certain amount of fun uh, and realism kind of in spades you can't go too far on either side of the spectrum there or it'll throw it off um so worth two points uh for that one uh category number five the one that i don't like uh, but always catches games off guard uh bugs flaws serious defects you can lose full two full points uh if your game is just very buggy um so that's really about it. We'll uh, run some of the, my footage here in the background. Not the one that I messed up uh, and got in a little tiny thing up there in the corner. I do apologize for doing that. Um, but uh, we will throw it up there in the background and I'll go about scoring the game here. <clears throat> so, uh, category number one, continu continuous challenge. Uh, there was continuous challenge. You always wanted to try and move forward and see if you can get to that next station without running into an asteroid field or a belt or, you know, keep everybody happy, make sure they're not going to vomit all over the place. So there was always something fun to do and something to keep you entertained in this. So uh, two full points for the continuous challenge. It was... Uh, very random but there was so much uh to do like you kind of that three minute trip just was done uh before you knew it so uh, very fun uh interesting story and good and uh so oh sorry uh continuous challenge <laughs> um we'll uh get a full two points out of that uh, category there uh, so interesting story and good end is category number two Interesting story and good end. There was a certain amount of nuance of story to it, uh, but the end was a little blase. It was, uh, you know, you kind of reach your destination and then you get to start all over again and uh, continue to go through there. I do understand you're supposed to transport passengers and, you know, stuff like that. So it kind of felt a little disjointed that, you know, we arrived at our destination and besides credits rolling, there wasn't a whole lot of, you know, um, congratulations or you know you walk in and everybody's cheering for you and saying thanks and your passengers are like giving you hugs like uh, you know it would have been a little bit more fun to have a little bit more cheeriness when you reach the end there um so again the end is a little yeah so uh i'd say 1.8 out of two for this category uh, flexibility and useful rewards. Uh, useful rewards were very strong. You would get things that you didn't expect and be like, yes, this will be definitely helpful towards me. So useful rewards, very strong. Uh, flexibility, yeah, you could um, choose different ships. You could, uh, uh, there was only uh, one barrier to flexibility is uh, choosing your own floor plan uh, would have been my uh, other flexible choice that I would have liked to have had uh for the game there maybe that's something you can throw into it there uh it would uh oh it would be a little bit of code it would be a nice little bit of code for you anyways um uh so flexibly useful rewards they ended up getting i i don't know 1.8 out of 10 or uh Again, just like the briefest category. So fun and realism. Uh, very fun. Uh, realism was cute in the fact that it was uh, pulled on some of uh, real aspects of my life. Like the little buses, the little um, uh, spaceships looks like buses that reminded me a lot of Magic School Bus. 
the reason I actually played the game was because the logo looked like the Jetsons. Um, so there was fun and realism uh, brought into uh, very cartoony games. So they kind of paired those two well together. So I'm going to give them uh, two full points in that category. And number five, uh, didn't catch the, uh, um, them off to, uh, too off guard in this one. Uh, there's only uh, one bug that I kind of saw a couple of times. But uh, I think that was just some sort of break in the code routine or the loop that you're going through. And that was where the fuel would go into the ship and go to fill it up. It would appear sometimes it wouldn't appear other times. Uh, so either that or it's the animation uh, um, code I would take a look at as well there. Actually, you know, probably it, it is probably animation. Uh, anyways, uh, so fun and realism. Um, we did a bug series flaws. Sorry, I get uh, talking there and uh, get off track a little bit there. Um, so bug series flaws and defects. Uh, you just the one. Uh, I'm gonna go 1.8 out of 10 on this. So uh, that's uh, 0.6 off of it. So. Uh, 9.4 out of 10 for, uh, yeah, 9.4 out of 10 for Space Lines uh, as a final score there. Uh, thanks for joining me for uh, Space Lines final review where uh, it got 9.4 out of 10, uh, surprisingly enough. Uh, it did very well in uh, a few bugs, uh, just a little a couple of little tiny things that would have made it a little bit more entertaining and a little more personalized. Uh, to the player, like I said, uh, a final ending where people are cheering or something to make it feel like, yes, I really actually achieved something good rather than just credits rolling, uh, as well as customizing the ship is something that I would have liked to have done. Uh, so a couple little things uh, could make the game just that much more interesting. So that would be something I would look at doing, uh, putting into it is uh, uh, do uh, your own floor plan for the ship as well as a bit more of a rewarding ending like you know you walk in and you know like this little guy over here on this side here he's all cheery and happy and coming off there and you know you kind of want to do that when you arrive at your destination you know if if you, everybody's proud of you why not give you a hand and cheer and maybe some balloons fall down or something i don't know just make it a little more entertaining I, I, it was so it was a little flat in that regard uh but i did do very well in the score uh, so if there is something I would suggest, uh, it's a short game, uh, if you actually uh, are really good and intelligent at being able to do all this stuff, uh, it's a short game, you can just play through it in an hour and a half or two hours, uh, but if you're not so diligent like myself, it could take a little bit of time to get through it, at, worst, at least uh, worth a playthrough uh, on a night, uh, one night a week there for you guys, so I would give it a try. Uh, if there is anything you saw you liked, do a good video with thumbs up, and if you uh, really liked it, do hit the subscribe button. However, reminding you until next time, take care of yourself, your friends, and your family. Take care.